So I just want to say this is not a tutorial. This is just me trying out a makeup look. I am not really great with eyeshadow. I recently just started using it a couple days ago. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I tried to do a purple eye look. So a few days ago, I saw that Goss Makeup Artist had done a tutorial using makeup on a woman of color. She was about uh, MAC NC40. And I don't own any MAC foundations, but I am MAC NC50. So it gave me the idea in my head that I could probably do an eyeshadow look. And he made it seem so simple. He used eyeshadow sticks. Uh, I think they were Charlotte Tilbury. Yes, they were. They were Charlotte Tilbury. So looking at the eyeshadow sticks made me think, oh wow, I can probably do eyeshadow. Looks really simple. Just use the sticks, color in the lines, and you're fine. So anyway, I decided I'm going to try to do a couple of different looks. So today I'm going to show you my attempt at a smoky blue eyeshadow look. So I went out and I bought some eyeshadow sticks. I purchased uh, Rimmel London Scandalize. So I was on the hunt for these for a little while. I actually went on the website, saw that they had 15 different shades available, and then I set out to go and find them locally. They're supposed to be available at Walgreens, Dwayne Reed, Target, places like that, as well as Ulta, but there's no Ulta by me and no Walmart either, although they're supposed to be there. So I walked over to my local Walgreens, looked for them. There was no Rimmel counter, or Rimmel, um, not counter, Rimmel display at all. So, so I kept looking. I went over to my local CVS and they also didn't have a Rimmel display. I'm just going to use a Wet n Wild primer here by Fergie. It is called Take on the Day. So I went over to CVS, they didn't have them, walked over to my local Target and they finally did have a Rimmel display. I was very excited. Saw the Rimmel display at the Target but they only had six shades. Now remember there's 15 shades on the website. So I was like okay they only have six shades available at Target. Um, hmm. And out of the six shades that they had on display, they only had two available, Witness White and I think Tempting Turquoise. And I didn't feel like I could do a look with either one of those two, so I kept looking. I walked over to another CVS, which had recently opened, and it's down the street from the Target. So I walked over there, and they did have a Rimmel display, so I was very excited. And they had nine colors in their display. And of course, I bought all nine. I did not buy them from the CVS. They only had five available at, at that particular CVS. So I walked down to my local Dwayne Reed or the local Dwayne Reed by that CVS and they had none. But then I checked another Dwayne Reed a little further down uh, near Brooklyn Tabernacle Church in Fulton Mall and they did have a display with all nine shades. Again, I don't know why they don't have 15, but they had nine shades. So I went ahead and purchased all nine there at the Dwayne Reed because they were on sale and I took the scandalized back to the CVS where I had previously purchased them because they were four, $4.99 and at the CVS, I mean sorry, at the CVS they were $4.99 at the Dwayne Reed they were only $3.89 because they were all on sale so I was pretty excited about that. So I'm just using this Witness White as a base because the blue color that I want to use I want it to show up really well so I'm going to use this NARS palette. It is number 9947. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the number of the palette. And I'm going to use the navy. It's still pretty new. You'll see it's still got the plastic on it. But because uh, I don't use eyeshadow, even though I own some. It is called Night Flight. So it's a very deep navy blue color. If you can see that. And I am just going to put that on top of the white. Let's see. This is a MAC brush. It is 242. And I'm just going to put the navy blue on top of that white, witness white base. Yeah, God's made it look so easy to use the eyeshadow sticks. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can do this and not end up looking like Mimi from that Drew Carey show with all that crazy blue eyeshadow that she has on. Make sure I, want, make sure I cover all of the white. I don't want that peeking through. And that is a very dark blue, which is what I want. It's kind of shimmery too, which is good because I plan to wear this out for an evening look. So I'm just going to blend it out. This is a Delam Tools 776 brush. So 
so I don't want any harsh lines. And I just applied it on my lid and a little bit above into the crease area. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm just playing with this idea to see if I can do it and hopefully recreate it at a later date. Notice a lot of people use a lid color, transition color, highlight color. I don't really plan to do all of that. At least not right now. Just want to make sure that there's no harsh line with this blue color. I feel like I need to use a different brush. I'm going to use this Delium Tool 780 brush. It's a pencil brush. Just want to make sure I'm getting any of these harsh lines out of the eyeshadow at the edges. Okay. I'm going to kind of darken it up on the corner a little bit. I'm going to use Scandalize. This is Blackmail. Just going to put a little of the black at the corner here to darken it up. And I'm going to use this pencil brush again. This is my Face Atelier foundation, which acts a lot as a concealer. You don't really need concealer when you're using this foundation, because it's a very, well not really thick, it's a silicone formula. I'm going to use this low Cornell brush to kind of get that line at the corner. I had purchased this a while ago because I thought it would be simple for me to do eyeshadow looks with it but I never actually used it until this moment. And that kind of worked. Alright so now I'm going to keep going and I'm going to add eyeliner. This is a NYX, NYX NYX Deep Blue. I'm just going to put that underneath on my bottom lashes with it. It's retractable, which I like. It's a brighter blue than the eyeshadow color, but I like this bright pop of blue. It's kind of almost purplish. Okay. Nice. Oh, right now I feel like I want some eyeliner. So this is the Curve NYX NYX The Curve. I'm not proficient with this, so this is going to take a minute. My eyelashes are so friggin' long that I have to kind of pull them down to do this. And I end up getting this on my hands. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. I just don't know what it is as of yet. Ooh. Okay. I feel like I got a little bit of black on my blue eyeshadow. Clean that up. I'm 
right. And some mascara. This is Too Faced Better Than Sex. Probably should have curled my lashes. Okay. That actually came out pretty okay. I feel like I could wear that out without feeling like I look crazy. So I did not use a transition color or a highlight color, although a lot of people do. I guess I could try that. Let's see. I'm going to go back to the NARS palette, the 9947, and I'm going to add transition color. I'm going to use the brown color, Surabaya, Sur Sur which is on top of the navy blue one. I'm going to see how this works up here. Oh, that's not bad. It's kind of a shimmery brown color. Let me blend that out so it matches. Don't look crazy with the blue. You probably should do your mascara and stuff after this. But, yeah. I'm clearly new to eyeshadow. Alright, that's okay looking. And now I want to do, let's see, I can do a highlight color. This is Scandalize again. This one is called, what is this called? Bulletproof Beige. Let's see. And yes, I know I need to probably clean up my eyebrows, but that'll be done by the threader before I try to wear this look out of the house. It's a little shimmer. To a bulletproof beige, slight bit of shimmer. I think I'm gonna try to add this bulletproof beige to my. Oh, and that's a Sephora brush, uh, Sephora eyeshadow brush. Try to add this bulletproof beige to my inner corner. I see a lot of people do that, so I'm gonna go ahead and try it. So I think that is the look, and that is my smoky blue eyeshadow look. We're going to clean up the side just a little, the corner just a little bit more. I love that this foundation is just so simple to use because I can just tap it in right here. to make my eyeshadow look cleaned up. I think a lot of people probably use concealer instead of foundation to do that. But like I said, this foundation face atelier is very much like a concealer. Alright, so there is my finished eye look. I'll go ahead and take a picture so you can see what it looks like too. But wow, that was not as hard as I thought. So yes, thanks to Wayne Goss for using some eyeshadow sticks on a woman of color the other day because that gave me the idea, although it did take me miles and miles of walking to go and find the scandal eyes. Let's see, I have my pedometer here. I walked 5.38 miles from my house downtown Brooklyn and back to find those nine eyeshadow sticks. I never did find the other colors locally, so I did go ahead and order them online, so they should be here soon. 
I ordered an additional seven colors, including four from the Kate line. I never did find the Naughty Navy, and I never did find the Teasing Turquoise. So those are the two colors that I apparently will not have, at least not until I can find them locally. So now I'm going to see if I can match up the other eye, but I'm not going to record that part. I'm not going anywhere either, but I'm going to see if I can match it up to make it look like this one. Let me know what you think because this is like really my first time trying to do something like this with eyeshadow besides the purple look that I did yesterday. So this I feel like I could really wear out. Although I'm not going anywhere right now, but I'm kind of excited that I was able to do this. So let me know what you think.